Well, ladies and gentlemen, so today we are going to be doing a Venus in the Nakshatra of Ashlesha. And what happens when Venus is in the Nakshatra of Ashlesha in your particular horoscope? And Ashlesha is a Nakshatra that occurs from 1640 to 30 degrees of uh, Cancer sign. And specifically, we're talking when Venus comes in the sign of Cancer during this degree and it's known as the Ashlesha Nakshatra. And as always, if you do not know, if your Venus is in the Nakshatra, what other Nakshatra your planets are in, all the other astrological details, for that check out the link here, check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology Conjunction Aspects and Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, including all my consultations and readings at this link, including the new Nakshatra reading at this link. So, let's get started with Venus in Ashlesha Nakshatra. Now, the very first thing I'm going to say, like I say every time, this is not you. This is your spouse. Venus is your spouse, number one. So if you're a woman, even Venus is your husband. If you're a man, Venus is your wife. Venus is a woman. Venus is also represents your romantic encounters. And represents a girlfriend in a man's chart as well. But mainly, the main function of Venus is the spouse, the wife, or the husband. So when we're looking at nakshatra, you know, every single time, no matter how much I say this, somebody comments, well, oh, this is not me. The, 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 nope, not working. I'm like, this is, have you asked your spouse this? Are you this? That's when you have the right to say, this is not me. And obviously this is from sidereal Vedic astrology, the actual original Vedic astrology alignments of Lahiri Ayanamsha sidereal crop zodiac. Okay, so if you're a Western astrologer and all that or follow Western astrology, then obviously you're not gonna even understand this whole concept. So the one thing that you will notice, okay, with uh, Venus being in this nakshatra is that you will fall for a woman or a man with the most gorgeous, beautiful, penetrating eyes. Like you will be falling for a woman or a man who's going to gaze at you at some party or at some restaurant, at some lounge or in your workspace. Just, just, just like they're working. And then they look at you and they go back to work. That one look. And if you fall for that, that's Ashlesha. That's the Ashlesha partner. The other thing that we see about the Ashlesha, they are connected to the Naghas. The Naghas are actually the beings living beneath the surface of this earth. Many do not want to believe all this stuff. They all think this is like some, you know, reptilian conspiracy or some, you know, all kinds of like, just conspiracy theories. But really, there are people, there are Nagha beings living underneath the earth. And if you cannot get this, then don't even follow Vedic astrology. Don't even learn nakshatras at all. These are the people who have the real occultic power. You will not even know them. You will not. You think you know them. You don't know them. They know. Naturally, they're drawn to occult, mysticism, hidden knowledge, Celtic magic. And these are naturally the people who are always connected to like pharmaceutical industry, always connected to chemicals. They're always like um, wanting to engage in like, you know, like uh, what do you call any kind of like Ayurvedic um, medicines and, and, and essential oils. These are the people who are also very, very clever. They're very clever, especially Ashlesha. If you have this Ashlesha Nakshatra in Venus, your spouse is going to be a brilliant business person. They know how to get that person to make that deal, to get that product. But also what happens with Ashlesha, because this is a serpent ruled nakshatra, you gotta under, see, the best thing to do whenever you wanna study um, 
a nakshatra, look at the animal that represents that nakshatra, study it. When you study it, you will understand this is who a shlesha is. So what happens when you um, study a snake? Snake is always coiled up, right? Tightly coiled up. What this can show is that this shows the sleeping pattern of your spouse. Like when they sleep, they want to curl up and sleep. And especially when they sleep, they like to hold the other person very tightly. Because what happens, especially with like an anaconda or uh, what is the other type of a snake um, that crushes you? I pretty much, I think every uh, snake crushes you, but they like to, when they give hugs, they like to give like tight hugs. They want to hold you tight. They want to like, kind of like that, cr that crushing feeling comes in. And especially... Ashlesha is a nakshatra ruled by Mercury. So they're always curious to learn. These people are always curious to learn the ways to heal themselves and heal other people. I don't care if, if your spouse is a lawyer or engineer. They will always be curious about, okay, how do I heal? How do I do this? How do I, and how do I improve myself? And especially Ashlesha people have a very youthful looking uh, skin very youthful looking face very smooth skin and what happens especially with ashlesha people especially later in their life they become extremely spiritual people like for ashlesha person they feel things you know when when somebody comes up to you and says my God, I was talking to that person and my, I just, I didn't like their aura. I was there. They had so much negative energy. I had to walk out. Where if you go and start talking to that person, you'll be like, mm, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's because the person who just told you that information might have ashlesha in them. Because ashlesha, because remember, study a snake again. Snake sees through vibration. Snake doesn't see through eyes. It sees through this, this vibration of color patterns. So if there's like a heat pattern, you know, that aura of the human. And, and, and snake can determine if that's a human, that's a tiger, that's a mouse. That's the, they can see which, how big, how small their object of hunting is. This is why a Shlesha person can clearly sense everything and everyone. So when you come across an Ashlesha person, and they tell you right away to your face, I don't like you, you're, you're just too negative for me. And they have a blunt way of saying that. They will tell you. And you probably have some negativity in you for them to see that. But of course, there are, you know, a lot of um, negative side to, there, there's a positive negative side, yin and yang to each nakshatra. But, you know, I just, Especially with Venus, I'm very, very careful. With Venus, I'm very, very careful what I say and what I don't say. Because then a lot of you will just run panic and scared. And if I just say something, you know, about any nakshatra with Venus, without giving its true, you know, uh, due diligence with your particular chart, then it, 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 it's not right. Because a certain can, planet can be conjunct aspect Venus regardless of what nakshatra is in and it'll alter the effects of that Venus what padha is your Venus in meaning what sign is it landing itself in Navamsha what sign is it landing in uh, Sastiyamsha so here's something that I'm, I'm gonna make a video on this soon you know how I made Navamsha nakshatra I'm gonna show you guys this is just so beautiful I'm still studying this but I'm discovering this. Maybe you guys can study it on your own. Planets from birth to Navamsha shows the result of the planet. Like what is the result of that nakshatra story that you have? Will be seen in Navamsha. But then you're going to ask a question. Why did this happen? Okay, I know the results of this, um, you know, this uh, nakshatra that is going to give me this result. But why that result came? For that, you go from Navamsha to Sastiyamsha nakshatra. And then you see that, I mean, this, this keeps going deep. Like Sanjay Ratji said, it's like 
two it's like a fourth dimension a, a, a horoscope is a four dimension thing you have a birth chart and then on the birth chart there's other things that are moving so you know but venus in this nakshatra most definitely you will have a very sensual spouse i mean my god when they love you when they uh you know are in an intimate relationship with you you probably will never feel that again but you will because you have venus and ashlesha you will always attract these type of uh, ashlesha beings they're actually beings i call them beings not even ashlesha people ashlesha is most definitely connected to the nagha race living underneath okay so anyway guys this was my analysis of venus in the nakshatra of ashlesha if you're new to my channel subscribe below and if you want to know where your venus is placed all your other last details, my books reports consultation for that check out the links here otherwise we'll see you later bye bye